Hello, astronaut Randy Bresnik. I grew up with the camera in my hand. My grandfather was a professional photographer who, from a very young age, would bring me into his dark room in his house and he'd show me how he'd, you know, put the pictures and project them onto the paper and then put them in the different solutions to go ahead and have the, the pictures develop and see the picture, you know, come up and develop on the paper and then dry them off and hang them up and, and wait to, to be able to see those pictures. And so it was something that was always of interest to me that, of course, my father was a photographer. And one of the first things I ever bought with my own money from my job was a, a camera and the lenses that went with it. And I've, so I've been taking pictures my whole life. So I really love being able to capture, you know, either the excitement of a moment or a particular scene of beauty to be able to share that with other people. And so I really enjoy photography for that reason. Well, on my first space mission on SCS-129 in 2009, I was up there for 11 days. And we had seven days docked to the space station. So I didn't have a whole lot of time because during those seven days, we had three spacewalks, robotic work, transfer of cargo. It was really busy. And so I didn't get to do as much photography as I would have liked. Now, for a six-month mission, I'm really looking forward to being on the International Space Station and having time on weekends to be able to go and just do my hobby, my passion, you know, take, take pictures of the Earth and share that with people down on the ground. The really neat part for me is the fact that the flight after hours in the early 2010, it brought the cupola. And so I never had the chance to see and take pictures from the cupola that's been there since 2010. So that's one of the biggest excitement uh, places that I have, uh, that I'm looking, destinations I'm looking forward to on the, on the space station itself. Why is it so important? First of all, we get to share the view with you guys to show you just how beautiful this planet is and just how amazing it is that, you know, here it is in this right part of the solar system where it's not too hot and not too cold and we're right there where life can be, uh, be living here on Earth. But also we have the ability to do Earth observation where when there's a hurricane or where there's a volcano where you can't get satellites to get you the pictures right away because they have to be redirected or put in different orbits or change their cameras. We can actually catch that stuff real time because we're going around the Earth every 90 minutes. So we look forward to sharing this blue marble with you and I hope you like the pictures we take. All right, now over to Marty and Beth to learn more. Thanks, Randy. I bet a lot of you out there have photographs on your cell phones and other devices. To make a photograph, you have to have light. Photograph actually means light image. People have been exposing things to light for a long time, and light actually changes things. We have astronaut Randy Comrade Bresnik's mission patch for Expedition 53 right here, and we're going to do something kind of cool with it. We are. I've got some specially treated paper in this black bag. We're going to take it outside. We're going to put it on the ground. We're going to put the patch on top. We're going to put the acrylic on top to keep it all from blowing away, and then we'll see what happens after we expose it to some light. Let's go. Okay, we moved outside where there's some sun, and I have my little piece of acrylic. And I'm going to take out a piece of this specially treated paper. And you're going to put the patch on there. And then go ahead and put the piece of acrylic over so it doesn't blow away. And then we just let the sun do its job. You can really see it changing color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Acrylic off. Patch. You can see where the patch blocked the sun. It's shadow. And we're going to put it into water, and that'll stop the chemical process. If you want to learn more about light, be sure to check out the lesson plans on our website.